What is up, YouTube? It feels like a while since I've narrated a non-PGBL battle because of pretty much a ton of stuff going on. But we did have some time uh, last weekend to do some battles on stream, and this is uh, the first wish against Fat Jesus, a uh, guy you should probably be familiar with if you've been watching my videos for very long. He's um, a mod on my Discord and stuff, and he's the PPGL1 champion. And we're going to play underused. There's the teams. Um, we're going to be Mega B against Mega Pidget. Um, so that should be interesting. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, um, I believe he has a pretty good lead against me here. I'm gonna go ahead and lead with Crocodile, and he ends up leading with his B, which is, like, kind of like the worst thing that could probably happen. Um, I am a choice band, Crook, so, um, yeah, I have no chance to outspeed this. I do get the Intimidate, however. Um, upon reflection, I might, uh, I probably should have just maybe, uh, clicked Pursuit. Um, after the Intimidate, I probably could have lived this U-turn. Um, although adaptability as a VC is still uh, pretty strong, plus uh, Beatrice's naturally high attack, I feel like with the Intimidate I might have been able to live, um, and it obviously would have killed with Choice Band Pursuit. But instead, I decided to play it safe, going into Chandelure, which is going to get the resistance, and that does like nothing after the Intimidate, so that's kind of nice. Um, he's going to go ahead and go into Noctowl, a Pokemon you don't really see much in UU, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a uh, Choice Scarf now, and. Um, yeah, I figure that Noctowl, while Choice Scarf, probably can't do much. He's going to go for the Toxic, so now he's locked into Toxic. And looking at my team, I only have, like, one Pokemon that's, like, immune to Toxic. And, um, unfortunately, he has a Magneton. And, uh, my Pokemon that is immune to Toxic is my, um, Durant. I figured it was just way too easy of prediction, so I decided just to stay in and Fire Blast, just to see what he would do, and if he wanted to stay in and keep Toxic stalling me. And he does do it, so I'm like, alright. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to wait another turn because then it gets to be really predictable with the Toxic, you know, um, building out. So I decided to switch Durant this turn, hopefully before he uh, tries to go out and his Magneton. And indeed, there you go. Um, and I'm going to predict Magneton here and go for the Superpower, which I think was an excellent play on my part, except, you know, H H Hustle always does shit for me. So there's the miss, the Superpower. He's going to go ahead and go for the Volts, which nearly kills me because Durant has absolute crap special defense. Um, and in comes his uh, Sand Slash now, who... Um, you can just see the power of Hustle. This is why people use Hustle. Because uh, this Sand Slash ends up taking more than half from a unstabbed superpower. So, not that bad. Unfortunately, it kills itself. And there goes my Z user. And I was actually kind of sad. I was actually pretty mad that that uh, superpower missed. Because I could have easily killed the Magneton. And that would have been um, a major problem gone. So, it's going to go to my Suicune. This is actually going to be a um, Rest Calm Mind set. I'm just going to go for the Scald, though. Because I'd like to get rid of the Sand Slash before he gets the opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks or something. But, um, yeah, in comes his Beedrill. I have, uh, I believe, max or uh, close to max physical bulk, so I know I can take a U-turn pretty well. Indeed, he goes for it. I decide just to set up a Calm Mind, I believe. And um, I think I just want to set up. Or do I just go for a Scald? No, I go for another Scald. I don't know why I did that, because it was obvious he was just going to U-turn. I do get the burn on the Knock Towel, so um, at least we get some residual damage there. And like I said, I have Rest and Chesto Berry, so I'm thinking maybe, you know, just take the Toxic, maybe try to set up a Calm Mind. Um, or no, i probably go for an Ice Beam this turn, and that was pr probably a mistake. I should have Calm Minded there, and um, here I decide to Calm Mind, figuring, hey, um, his Noctowl is pretty much going to kill itself anyway if he stays in, so I kind of figure he might just stay in and go for the Toxic. No, he, goes, he does switch out, um, and he goes out into his Magneton, so I'm like, I don't know. Um, I do have a Calm Mind in me, but a Stab Super Effective Thunderbolt could probably take out my Suicune at this range. I'm not 100% sure. I'm like, okay, I, I could get a chance to rest later. Um, I probably should have calc'd it, because Suicune is still bulky as anything, but I, you know what? Crocodile is just a safe switch, so I'm like, I'm just gonna go into here, um, and I end up deciding to Pursuit, because um, I knew that he's probably gonna switch out. He goes for the Volt switch, so I definitely could have lived that, probably. Oh well. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and Pursuit, and uh, it's going to nearly kill the Magneton. Um, and he's just going to go back to the Noctowl, who's just going to die to the birds, so... He's going to lose the Noctowl, and he takes a ton of damage on the Magneton in, uh, in, you know, in addition, so that's pretty nice. In comes his Drill though, and this time it's not intimidated, and I need to go into something. I just decided to play it safe again, going to Chandelure, knowing he's probably just going to go for the U-turn. But he is quite, um, he's actually, uh, really doing well here with these pivots on the Beedrill. That's why I'm looking back on it. Maybe I should have tried to get rid of it with Pursuit in the very beginning, so I didn't have to deal with Beedrill, but... Whatever. In comes Espeon, and um, I don't have my Scarf, unfortunately, and that means I can't outspeed him, so uh, I'm, I'm really thinking what to do. Espeon has a ton of special attack. I decide um, to stay in, I guess, and he just goes for the Shadow Ball, and he ends up revealing the Life Orb, and um, yeah, I'm like, okay, I think 
because my um, Krugadile is at full HP, I should be able to take an attack from this thing, even if he has Dazzling Gleam. I see the uh, Life Orb, um, but I'm like, I'm at full health, and Dazzling Gleam is not that strong of a move, and it's not stat, but he ends up still taking out Krugadile with it. So, I really should not ever, I need to make a note, never underestimate Espeon's 130 base special attack ever again. That really surprised me, and I'm sad, and now I just go to Latias, hoping that I can win the speed tie. Thankfully I do, I go for that Draco Meter and able to take it with Espeon, but losing the, um, Krugadai I really hurt, because it loses, I lost my Intimidator, um, which is definitely bad, and, um, yeah, now this Beedrill can uh, kind of come in and just U-turn, and is really no reason, the only thing I can do, I go into my Suicune, I know I'm going to take it okay, but after the hit, I probably can be revenge, because I'm just going to U-turn into the Magneton. Um, it would have been really nice to get off a rest this match, but unfortunately there's just nothing I can do. I'm just going to go ahead and try for it, but he's definitely going to be a Scarf Magneton. Um, I believe he outsped my, um, yeah, he outsped my uh, Duran earlier, so we know it's Scarfed. He's uh, just going to go ahead and go for that Volt Switch, go back. I do get to see what it switches first. He's going to go into Beedrill. I have to go out into my um, Pidgeot, and um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. I decided to go for the Hurricane. I probably should have, because I know that he can't kill me here with a um, with a poison jab. I probably should have tailwinded, because I have tailwind on this set. And uh, I think if I would have tailwinded, I could have won this match. And uh, now I guess I'm tipping it, because he's going to go ahead and U-turn. It's a good play, going for the U-turn. He knows after the U-turn he can kill me with a poison jab. And um, after I kill the Magneton, he can go right back to the Beedrill. But if I would have been able to, if I would have tailwinded there, um, I could have outsped the Beedrill. Um, so, yeah, well played by him. He can now go into Beedrill, he can kill me with Poison Jab, and obviously uh, my last Pokemon Latios will get outsped and killed by a U-turn. So, good game there, Fat Jesus. Um, yeah, like I said, probably should have Tailwinded, but uh, you live and learn. It was a fun match anyway. Um, Mega Beedrill always seems to kind of destroy me for some reason. Never underestimate it, my friends. Anyway, today's question of the day is going to be... What are your fo uh, favorite Pokemon to catch in the Viridian Forest when you play through a Kanto game? Um, the only reason I'm asking this is because we have Mega Beedrill, Mega Pidgeot, both of their forms, um, Pidgey and um, Weedle, tend to be, um, you know, the uh, inhabitants of the uh, Viridian Forest, along with Pikachu and uh, Pidgeotto in, I think, yellow, um, what other things, Caterpie, so a lot of uh, interesting Pokemon there, a lot of bugs, a lot of, a lot of weaker Pokemon, uh, but it's like the first real area you go into, um, you know, aside from, like, normal routes in the games. Um, so, it's just gonna answer, yeah, that, that's the question. As for me, um, I always like to pick up a, uh, Caterpie, because I found Beedrill really use. or sorry, Beedrill, Butterfree really useful in, uh, Red and Blue, uh, due to its ability, uh, actually not Red and Blue, more like Yellow, um, due to its ability to, uh, you know, evolve early and get Confusion, which is nice, uh, but so yeah, probably gonna go with that. I mean, Beedrill I kinda like better from a design perspective, but Beedrill's really bad in Red and Blue, and even Yellow, so... Oh well. Anyway, leave a comment about that, and see you guys in the next time. If you say Pikachu, then you're just wrong. Anyway, bye!